We've all heard the old adage that success is 90% preparation and 10% perspiration. Well, today we're going to do a little preparation in order to have success with a beautiful lawn this spring. In Oklahoma, a lot of us have Bermuda grass lawns. Well, in the winter time, those lawns should be dormant. If you're seeing green vegetation in your Bermuda grass lawn, then that means that you likely have a lot of winter weeds. Winter weeds or cool season weeds are those weeds that germinate in the fall and they produce vegetation throughout those winter months and then they will tend to bloom in March, such as henbit with those purple flowers. A lot of times if you have winter weeds, you're mowing those weeds down long before you even need to mow your lawn. In January and February, it's an ideal time to start taking care of those winter weeds. We're gonna use a product called glyphosate. Now, if you're not familiar with glyphosate, that is the active ingredient in the commercially trademark brand Roundup. It's like saying acetaminophen instead of saying Tylenol. Glyphosate is a non-selective herbicide and will kill any green vegetation that it comes in contact with. I say typically January and February is the ideal time to spray glyphosate on those winter weeds because usually by January we've already experienced a killing freeze. So we know that our Bermuda grass is dormant and by February we haven't had enough long periods of warm days that have brought that Bermuda grass out of dormancy just yet. Now you always want to make sure that your Bermuda grass is dormant and the best way to do that is to take a look at the vegetation and just check it and make sure that you don't see any green growth. You can see here there is no green growth in this vegetation so it has gone dormant. Now the roots are still viable and that's what will regrow our lawn next spring but the upper growth is dormant and so we know that we can spray and it will be safe. If your Bermuda grass isn't dormant, then you run the risk of potentially killing it or harming the Bermuda grass as well. When you're mixing glyphosate, you always want to make sure you check the label first. A lot of times glyphosate can come in different concentration and depending on which brand you bought, it depends on how you mix it, the ratio. So make sure you read the label. The label is the law. After reading the label, when we're mixing our glyphosate, a little tip is to add the water, the appropriate amount of water first, and then add the glyphosate next. If you add the glyphosate first and then add water, it tends to foam up and it's hard to tell if you've added the appropriate amount of water or not. Now you can see that our solution here of glyphosate and water is translucent and so it's going to be hard to determine where we've sprayed. So in order to help with this, we're going to add a tracker or a dye to our mixture here. Now this dye is just intended to allow us to see where we have sprayed. It's not intended to paint your lawn green or in some cases blue. If you have a lawn that is completely filled with green weeds, then the best approach is to do a sweeping method with your spray. You wanna start at the far end of your yard, away from your garage or furthest away from the sidewalk or your house, and then slowly sweep the spray from the left to the right as you work your way backwards. It's kind of like mopping your floor. This way, you won't paint yourself in a corner, in essence. The other method that you can use if you just have a couple of areas that have severe weeds is to spot spray those areas. You can simply go and spray those areas, but be aware that even though you might not think you have weeds in the rest of your dormant grass, a lot of times there are small weeds that have already germinated and because you haven't sprayed those, they will continue to grow and you might see them later on in the season. Having January and February to spray glyphosate on your dormant Bermuda grass may seem like you have plenty of time to do this, but you really want a nice warm day. Ideally, 53 degrees to 77 degrees Fahrenheit is the best, most efficient temperature for glyphosate to work on those weeds. You also want to look at the forecast and make sure that there's no rain in the future so that we don't wash away all of that spray not to mention our Oklahoma winds. You want a day when there's calm wind speed so that when you're spraying, the chemical isn't accidentally drifted onto other plants causing them harm. 
when you take into consideration all of these factors, it does reduce the number of available days in January and February that are ideal to spray glyphosate on your dormant Bermuda grass. But take advantage of these warm, sunny days because a little preparation and a little work now will give you success later on. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.